As Montaro headed deeper into the lair of the Separatists, he came across more heavy equipped guards, but he was still able to dispose of them. In one of the rooms, he found a console that allowed Montaro access to a separate part of the base to hopefully find out more about the exact bomb's whereabouts. It should come to no surprise that guards were stationed here as well. What the? A Republic soldier? How did you get in here? In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to surrender. Go ahead. Take me in. Torture me! I'll reveal nothing! The glorious Separatist movement will never submit to your decadent so-called Republic! Hmm. No bomb. That's right. We're three steps ahead of you. Three hundred steps ahead. The Separatist movement is an unstoppable force, driven by the will of the people. Enough. Kill him? Let's work this guy over a bit. Make sure he doesn't know anything. The, the glorious... You don't... You don't scare me. I... Uh, wait, wait! The bomb! They moved it! They, they moved it! My commander came. He... We took the bomb down to the coast and loaded it onto a sea speeder. I don't know where it was taken after that. Extensive security. Why? It's because... Well... Safro, Viru, and Bol are here. Three of our greatest heroes who led us in our glorious... <gasps> they're, uh... They're officers, cell commanders. They run operations in different parts of Avila Town. They're having a conference, relocating men to different cells. They're... They're dead, Sergeant. I'll take care of them, sir. Zephyro, Viral, and Bull are priority one target, Sergeant. Coming their data on separate cell locations and manpower is too good an opportunity to pass on. That data will be critical to learning the bomb's movements before it's too late. You have your orders. Get the data. Kill the officers. Go. The officers were not far from the room they were currently in. I'm telling you, I heard blaster fire. I think we've been compromised. There, intruder! Bull! Call for backup, now! In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to surrender. Safro, wipe the data! We can't let it fall into enemy hands! He's just one man! Kill him! The officers tried to use the console as a form of cover, but Montado flanked them by moving just a little bit as his shields absorbed most of the blasts. He took a bit of damage, but was able to overcome the three Separatist officers. Montaro retrieved the data from that room and started to head back to the surface. As he made his way upward, Montaro came across an area he had not explored yet and thought about the reporter he met on the beach. He saw a few Separatist enemies and engaged in combat with them before heading up to the second level and coming across a room with their missing partner in it. Hey, watch out! You're getting in my light! The lighting is essential to selling the message of urgency, you know? You're coming with me, recorder boy. Come with me? No! You're from the Republic, aren't you? Come to kill me for my noble work. Well, you're not going to succeed. There's no way I'm giving up my footage of the glorious uprising. Amala may be willing to hide the Republic's warmongering, but I'm not. I'm with the Separatists now. You still have the recordings? Of course I do. That's what it's all about. I've re-edited those hollows to show the plight of the Separatists and their families. So you go back to Lamala and tell her she can find another Patsy to do her work. I've seen the light. Give me those holodisks, or I'll make you give me those holodisks. What? I, I, don't, I don't even have a weapon. I'm just a journalist. Fine, okay, you can have the holodisks. There's just one little problem. The Separatist propaganda officers already have them. If you want those discs, you best get them, before they distribute them so everyone can see. 
As the spreading of propaganda could have disastrous consequences for the citizens, Montado wanted to retrieve the holodisks before he left. It did not take long for him to find them. He followed the trail of bodies left by Wraith and eventually found the exit elevator leading to the entrance of the facility. Back outside, it was easy for Montaro to make his way by using buildings and debris as cover to remain unnoticed. Once he reached the beach area, he decided to give the holodisks to the reporter before heading back to the fort. The holodisks, you got them! That is fantastic, amazing, unexpected even. I can't wait to see the footage from where the bodies were. Wait, where's Wax? Turns out he joined the Separatists. Blast. And since he didn't come back with you, I'm guessing he didn't give up the holodisks willingly. Now it'll take a miracle to convince him to come home. Stupid kid. Always sympathizing with the underdog a little too much. Anyway, fair's fair. Here are your credits. Spend them in good humor. I really hope the recordings are worth it. Right. It's footage like this that makes all the fighting and death worth it, you know? Montado once again used the vehicle parked near the beach to make his way back to safety. The bomb was still not in their hands, and he hoped that this time they would finally get a lead that would result in something good. Sergeant, you've returned. Oh, masterful work eliminating the Separatist officers. The beast has been beheaded. I'll get the officer's data out to the rest of Havoc right away. As for you, Lieutenant Doran here has a special op already planned out. Earlier today, a man named Zack came to the fort from Oradam Village seeking medical attention. Zack was suffering from acute radiation poisoning, causing catastrophic organ failures. His body was practically tearing itself apart from within. Quite magnificent to observe. Is it normal for villagers to get radiation poisoning, sir? Not at all. As a day laborer, Zack performs pointless menial tasks that would never involve any kind of radiation exposure. On the other hand, Fuse told us that the ZR-57 can leak significant amounts of radiation if handled improperly. Zack must have been near the ZR-57, knowingly or otherwise. I want the details, even if you must pry them from his dying husk of a mind. Are we really going to be so ruthless, sir? This is a desperate situation, Sergeant. We need that intel. The medics who treated Zack weren't equipped to cure his condition. Most of their supplies have been stolen by scavengers. However, if you were to retrieve the necessary ingredients to treat Zack's affliction, I think you would find the offer of a cure very useful in gaining his cooperation. Given that Zack's current medications can promise only a lifetime of excruciating pain, the potential for a full recovery should be an excellent motivator. Command knows exactly where the scavengers are. We just haven't had the resources to deal with them. Here are the coordinates and a list of ingredients to retrieve. Any questions? Once I have the ingredients, where do I take them? What's Zack's location? Once you've got the cure collected, you'll confront Zack at his home in Ordam Village and question him about the ZR-57. Nothing fancy on this, Sergeant. Just get the ingredients, get the intel from Zack, and then get back. Dismissed. For having done multiple missions, Montaro got awarded with his very own Havoc Squad armor, which he proudly wore. The first thing that needed to be done was get the medicine, and for this, Montaro needed to travel westward to areas he had not been to yet. It was quite the hike, and eventually, he came across a small camp with troopers who pointed Montaro into the direction of those allegedly having the medicine. Montaro headed up the hill carefully to give him some time to scout out ahead and locate the scavengers. The view was beautiful and it led him to a serene area near the sea. Shortly after, he spotted the scavengers as their position was given away by a large bonfire. He picked up his weapon and let loose once more as the scavengers had to pay with their lives for stealing the medication. Montaro indeed found the medicinal supplies on the bodies of several scavengers, including some who were standing near the bonfire. With the medicine in hands, Montaro hurried towards the nearby village where Zack supposedly was. Time was of the essence, and Montaro could not stop to enjoy the view. 
He soon arrived at the village entrance. It was nice to finally see a village on Ord Mantel that was not a total war zone. Security was tight, but for good reason. As Montado entered the village, he was stopped by a distressed older man. Wait for me. You did this to me! Dirty soldiers beating an old man, stealing his daughter! They were criminals, not good soldiers. Then help me. Don't turn... a blind eye. Like, like the rest. Please help. My, my daughter means everything to me. Help me get my daughter back. Help! I don't understand why soldiers would take your daughter. Where would they take her? I, I don't know. There's, there's been... There's been a string of abductions lately. But I never thought they'd take her. I, n I, I never thought they'd take my... Coel. They... They were headed toward the fort. Please. Please find my daughter. You've got my word. Please. Hurry. I, I, I want to see my daughter again. After the old man was done yelling at him, Montado headed deeper into the village towards the house where Zack was reported. The building itself was big, and as Montado entered, he shouted in hopes for a reply. He was greeted with silence, so he walked towards one of the rooms in the back to find Zack and his wife. You... you're a soldier, right? From the fort? Please help us. We're really sick. My wife is dying. Forget it. Uh, I'll be fine, Zack. Just get that soldier out of here. No, Jawler. Please, soldier. The medics at the fort. I talked to them earlier. Please, tell them to send help. When did your symptoms begin, sir? I already told the medics at the fort. I... I don't know how it happened. You've been poisoned by radiation from a stolen Republic bomb. What? You mean... Jawler, do you know anything about this? Quiet, Zack. We don't know anything about... <sighs> anything. They're the reason we're both sick! Aren't they? You're dying because of them! Zack, don't. You ruin everything. The movement... The movement sold us out! They don't care about us! They just care about their weapons and their secrets! No. I'll never betray the movement. Never. The movement got you into this mess. Why would you defend them? Jawler, they aren't worth dying for. Think of me. I love you. If you love me, Zack, you won't betray everything I stand for. Please let me go. Please, Jawler. No. You give me the bomb, I'll give you the cure and forget this ever happened. I... I don't have the bomb. But... but I'll tell you where it is. Don't, Zack. <laughs> don't. There was this big crate we helped move. I never saw inside, but... but I'm sure it's what you're looking for. We got sick right after we handled it. We took the crate up to the stronghold. That's the Separatist's main base on the island. Now please, you have to help my wife. This will cure your radiation poisoning. Thank you for helping me. Here, love. This will make you feel much better. No, Zack. Please. Shh. Everything is going to be all right now. This is a second chance. Make the most of it. We will. I can promise you that. Come in, Sergeant. I copied everything. Sounds like we're going to be hitting the Separatists where they live. Good work. Just doing my duty. I hope you're ready for this. The Mountain Stronghold is the Separatists' most fortified position on the entire island. Getting in there won't be easy. I put out the call. Havoc is assembling immediately, so get back here on the double. I'll head there immediately. Jorgen out. As Montaro headed to get a speeder to hurry back towards the base, he was once again stopped by a stranger. Hey, uh, you there. You got a second? Talk politics, talk shop, talk business maybe? I've got business to talk if you're interested in talking. Name's Gizmelkan. I'm with the government here. So what do you say? Interested in doing a little work for me? Uh, for you? For the Republic? Get to the point. Hey there, that's a little rude, ain't it? Someone offers you work and you snap at him. I was trying to offer you a job, but now maybe I'll rescind my offer. All right. 
But let's talk money first. There's a fair amount of pay involved. Not a lot, mind you. These are tough times, but this is important and well worth the reward. Here's the situation. I look after one of the outlying villages, and this village is, well, faltering in its love of the Republic. People are restless, see? The Separatists bring them stuff, and they start thinking the Separatists are right. Then they get uppity, start talking about revolt, start getting violent. It's chaos everywhere. Where do I come in? I figure the best way to win the village over is to beat the Separatists at their own game. Lavish the villagers with gifts. Show them you care, too. So I ordered a shipment of supplies. But now I get word the shipment's lost out in Savrip territory. I need someone to go get it. That sounds easy enough. Fine. Good. That's all I ask. Have a look. The shipment had a droid escort, I believe, so I'd look for that if I were you. It was last seen on Savrip Island. The Savrips, you know. Massive, vicious beasts. Each of her dinner soon as look at you. It was the duty of a trooper to help the government and its people, and so Montaro accepted Gizmo's request, but for now, he needed to quickly get back to HQ. The village was far from the fort, and Montaro rode his speeder as quick as he could to meet up with Havoc Squad to what he hoped would be his breakthrough mission. He could not help but notice that he was a bit nervous as he made his approach, but he had an unwelcome surprise once he got into the building. Whoa, whoa, not so fast, Sergeant. You and me need to have a little talk. I'm Lieutenant Verk. I think maybe you heard of me. See, my boys here saw you having a chat with little Ensign Farn. Now, I know Farn told you about my business, but you kept it quiet, which means you got character. Discretion, you know? I like people with character and discretion. Now, fine soldierly qualities like those ought to be rewarded. A salary bonus, maybe. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want your dirty money. Careful, Sergeant. You're making me think you might still go and blab about my affairs. You don't want to do that. I'm gonna burn you the next chance I get. Don't be an idiot. I've got good credits here, and all you have to do to get them is to keep your mouth shut. If you don't take what I'm offering, I'll have to find a much less pleasant way to keep you quiet. You think I got into Havoc Squad by being a coward, Verk? Well, it obviously wasn't by being smart, Sergeant. All right, boys, time to go to work. And make sure nobody recognizes the body. Whoa, boss, are you sure? I mean, we're right in the middle of the fort. Someone might hear. So turn on the sonic damper field. That's what we got it for. And somebody shoot this punk. Yes, sir. Montaro made sure that the first shot came from the lieutenant, so that he could fire back in self-defense. After he took him out, Montaro hurried into the intel room. Ah, Sergeant. Welcome back. Grab yourself a seat. You're gonna be observing the op here with me. I take it the rest of my squad is already in the field? Havoc Squad is infiltrating the Separatist stronghold to retrieve the ZR-57 as we speak. Commander Tavis was very clear. Under no circumstances can I send you in to join Havoc on this mission. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. I honestly thought you were starting to come along, but... I guess Tavis still isn't convinced you're ready for the big time. I trust Commander Tavis's judgment. Maybe next time, Sergeant. I'm sure... Lieutenant, sir! We've got a situation here! Talk to me, Ensign. What's going on? We've lost contact with Havoc Squad, sir. Comms, video locators, everything! It's like they've disappeared completely! That's unacceptable, soldier! You get back to that terminal, and you get me Havoc status. Now! Yes, sir! Do you think Zack and Jaller set us up, sir? There's no way to tell from here. Whatever happened was bad. Still no signal from Havoc Squad, sir. I think we may have lost them. All right, listen up, people. This mission will not fail on my watch. We are not going to let that bomb get away again. Infiltrating that stronghold is a mission only Havoc Squad can pull off. Lucky for us, we have one Havoc Trooper left. Sergeant, you're going in there. ZR-57 must not remain in Separatist hands. Is that clear, Sergeant? Yes, sir. We were hoping to get the bomb back intact, but we're way south of a best-case scenario here. So here's the new plan. We have the activation code for the ZR-57. We disarm the bomb, leaving the Seps with nothing but a big radioactive paperweight. You'll have to hijack the Separatist's comm system to broadcast the code. This data spike should do the trick. I never thought it'd come to this, Sergeant. I don't need to tell you what happens if you don't pull this off. 
I've never failed a mission before, and I'm not gonna start today. That's what I like to hear. You have the coordinates for the Separatist Stronghold. I'm sure you can guess how much security they're likely to have. Reach the perimeter, use the data spike on the comm terminal, and shut the ZR-57 down for good. Thousands of lives are on the line, Sergeant. We're counting on you. Good luck, Sergeant.